Hi, this is Dan Breland with a, uh, another tutorial for RealFlow 10 using uh, Diverso Solver. Um, this tutorial uh, demonstrates uh, an object like an ice cube or something just falling into a pool of water. Um, the uh, the main trick to this is your pool of water or the emitter um, is a closed object a solid cube okay and you have to disconnect it from the hub that's the big secret um, now if I connect this to the hub and I run a simulation the uh, torus hits the top of the cube doesn't touch the liquid just just hits the top of the cube and that's it nothing um, what we're going to do is remove the connection and we'll reset and simulate and boom the object torus now floats in the water now for uh, diversa to work with your object which is the torus in this case um, you have to click on rigid and what that does is that creates a domain for the particle skinner which I have here which um, you could have connected to the hub if you want or disconnected um, I found both works as you can see but um, the but the the main thing is to have the cube which is your emitter um, uh, separate from the hub um, the cube top is the pool or the the body that you know the water is going to be in the closed cube is the emitter because you have to have a closed object for a fill object uh, to work like this um, and uh, the fill emitter as you can see is set for fill and we have it selected as the cube 2 okay alright and the particle skinner we have selected as torus all right and again for diverso to work correctly with your object that's falling into it you have to have a particle skinner and in this case it's set to rigid okay um, if you're doing elastics like rubber that's that's a different story but um, that's that's pretty much it for this tutorial hopefully that uh, that explains how this works have a good day